Hello, now I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm not. So in today's video, we're gonna have a little experiment. We are gonna be cooking with not just banana, banana peels. And I have seen people on the internet doing this, and I'm always kinda like, not for me, not for me. But in honor of Earth Month and Earth Day, I figured I need to put this overlooked food scrap to the test. I've already washed all these bananas. I have a lot. Ooh. Oops. I already washed all these bananas. I actually scrubbed them with soap because, you know, bananas tend to have pesticides on them and these are not organic. If you can get some organic ones, then great. So the first recipe we're gonna make are these banana peel meatballs. I'm very excited for this one because I love meatballs and I'm just so intrigued by this recipe. It's very simple. I got this recipe from another YouTuber named Chef Jaina and I will link her video down below and this is, I'm just gonna totally copy her recipe. I'm not doing anything on my own trying to figure this out. And then the other recipe is actually one of my recipes for my vegan mushroom carnitas. It's so tasty, especially with mushrooms. So we're gonna try them with banana peel because apparently, like I said, if you shred the banana peel and cook it down with yummy sauce, then it will taste like whatever meat you're trying to make it taste like. Let's get started. So first thing we have to do here, let me just roll up my sleeves. First thing we're gonna do is we are gonna prep this banana. So for the banana, what we're gonna do is cut the, the stem off and then the little bottom part as well. Also gonna discard that. Okay, let me peel it. What we need to do now is we're gonna take a spoon and scrape out the inner flesh or fibers here. Let me make this one a little bit thinner. So you're gonna take a spoon and scrape down. If you know of a way to upcycle this, let me know. Because I, I would, I, now I'm like, oh, I don't wanna waste anything. So scrape that out. I feel like you could just toss this in a smoothie, right? Why not? I don't wanna waste it, so let me put that there. We're gonna use three bananas for this recipe. So if this works out, I'm going to so regret having thrown away my banana peels over the last 34 years of my life. I'm gonna like feel so bad about it. <laughs> Now I have peeled the, um, the fibers from the insides of these banana. Now the banana is very skinny, very, very skinny. It's kind of like a leaf now. So at this point, the recipe tells me to finally chop all of these. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack them up and chop them that way so that we can do more at a time. Banana is nice and mince. I'm so excited. This is like super different. Okay, so that aside, we're gonna do like half a cup of onion. So I'm gonna mince this as well. Mmm, nice. Okay, so our next step is we're gonna transfer this all to a bowl. I feel like it's not that much banana, but all right, so banana. We need to make a flax egg to hold all of this together while our meatballs cook. So in order to do that, I'm gonna combine two tablespoons of flax seed and a quarter cup of water. Let that sit aside for five minutes and that's gonna thicken up. In the meantime, we will add our breadcrumbs. This is just panko. And then I'm gonna use all-purpose flour. First spices, we have our paprika, we have nutmeg, cumin, oregano, and garlic powder. So all that together. And give it a stir. You know, another thing, I could have sworn the woman, um, this chef Jaina called for uh, parsley in the recipe, but I didn't see it in the recipe. Though I also am doubting myself, so I'm just gonna mint some parsley right now, because I like parsley. So my flax egg, okay, much thicker already. I'm looking good. I'm just gonna pour that 
in there. I don't know what this is going to taste like, <laughs> but I think it'll be good. I mean, it's a lot of bready products in it. But what an interesting way to use banana peels, even if it is mixed with a ton of bread and flour. Mix it all together. Let's let it sit in the refrigerator while I clean up a little bit, wash my hands, and yeah, build up the suspense. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the banana peel carnitas. So the idea is similar for the banana peel. We are gonna shred it, and just like the meatballs, I'm gonna cut the tips off, blah, 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 peel it, scrape out the inside, and then we're gonna take a fork and shred it so that we can make like long ribbons. So let's, let's see how that goes. Okay, so I can't believe it, but it's been 10 years. 10 years ago, I spent two months in Southeast Asia. In Thailand, they use banana blossoms a lot, which are delicious. They use them as a replacement for meat and mostly in curry. I think that's all I actually had it in was curry. If you wanna see a recipe with banana blossom, hit the like button and I will make that for you. All right, so four bananas, four bananas. That's what I used. This is all the peel I have left, which is not a lot. Oh, okay, I'm so excited, obviously. Very excited, I don't know why. I know why, because I'm trying something new and that always makes me happy. So I'm gonna warm up some oil in a skillet. I usually make my carnitas in the instant pot, but I wanna see them cooking. So that's why we're gonna just do it here right now. They've oxidized, you see, and turned very brown. But ain't no wrong with a little bit of brown. For the spices, we have oregano, black pepper, cumin, and salt. It's very orange. We're gonna add orange juice. So it's a little soy sauce. This is so weird. The color is light, getting lighter. I thought it was gonna just be like really dark like this. My intuition tells me that I need to put the lid on it and turn the heat down so that it can really soften up. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna turn the heat down, cover it up for maybe five minutes. Ooh. It can't hurt to taste a little bit. It's a vegetable after all. It does look like, kind of like meaty. Mmm. Wow. It tastes nothing like banana. It's crunchy, so I know it's not cooked through because in the recipes I read, it needs to soften, but It's good. All right. Ooh, okay. The bottom got a little burnt. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes delicious, okay? I'm shocked. It is still chewy, though. Like, not chewy. It's still crunchy. I don't know if it's gonna soften more. I feel like it's been cooking for a long time. It might not, just not get any softer. Mmm. I like it. Before we actually make our tacos, I just wanna make sure that we start cooking those meatballs. So let's do the meatballs really quickly and we'll come right back to this. I have this lovely tomato sauce. I love tomato sauce. And I'm just gonna keep forming them into meatballs. And I'm gonna now put them right into the tomato sauce. Yay, so now our meatballs are done. The air fried ones and the tomato sauce ones, which look so yummy, so good. And I'm very excited to try them. But before we try those, I want to taste the 
air fryer ones first so I can actually get a true, um, so I can actually get like a true feel of what it tastes like. So these are in the air fryer for 10 minutes at 350. They're very bready. Yeah, these are pretty bready. They taste good, but they kind of taste like little biscuits. <laughs> these are basically biscuits with banana in them. Ooh, I like how this one looks because it's nice and moist on the inside. Okay, can I tell you what I think? Because I'm going to. I think this is a nice way to use banana peels. Now that I know that you can eat banana peels, I do have regret for not having done it sooner. Why not just put the bananas in a lentil meatball? You know, that's what I would say. Because that's, there's too much flour and there's too much breadcrumbs. It is too bready. So now we're gonna make our tacos. So I just warmed up and almost burnt down the house. The tortilla is about to catch on fire. Oh, forget about the tortilla. Thank God you're here. But I warmed up a tortilla. So I'm gonna do my carnitas. I'm already a fan of this. You guys know I already like this one. I'm gonna do a little bit of tomato, a little bit of avocado, and a little cilantro. Let's give it a try as an actual taco. These are good. Oh, those are so good. So yummy. Now, I wanna say this is delicious. However, once again, I think I would totally mix it with mushrooms so that it's just more bulked up, has more nutrition to it. The banana peels, I'm sure, are very nutritious. The moral of this story, <laughs> the moral of this, this experiment is that banana peels can be added to a lot of things, a lot of dishes that you might already make. And they add a really nice texture and even a little bit of flavor, though they don't taste like banana. I don't even know what they taste like, but they really are nice. And I could see totally, instead of throwing away my banana peels in the future, keeping them and using them for another recipe. So like I said, I wanted to make this video in honor of Earth Day because one of the most, one of the easiest things that we can do as individuals to be better to the planet, in the United States especially, so much food goes to waste. I mean like perfectly healthy, fresh, food. A lot of that happens in the grocery store, but a lot of it also happens in our own homes. So I'm just trying to find new ways to, you know, use my scraps. In the comments section down below, let us know what are your favorite food scraps to eat. For me, I mean, I'm loving these bananas, but I totally love to use carrot tops, beet greens. So let us know in the comments down below what you like to cook, and maybe we can give those a try. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for coming along with me for this little experiment. I love making experiment videos. It's super, super fun for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Leave this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I produce new videos every week. So subscribe, turn on notifications so that you don't miss a future video. And I will see all of you guys next week. Have a happy Earth Day and happy rest of Earth Month. Bye.